According to Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5, before you were ever born or conceived, God already has great plans with you in mind. His plans include your assignment and mission here on earth, and it also includes the kind of people that will help facilitate the fulfillment of your purpose. You did not happen by accident, neither is your life a mistake. Your family, skin color, race, nationality and background have all been factored into the master plan of God, and so is the person that you will marry and spend the rest of your life with. Yes, when it comes to your life, God has left no stone unturned. He has everything planned out even to the tiniest detail. So, you need not worry or fret about who your spouse will be considering that the aspect of relationship and marriage is something of a great concern to many people around the world. But you are not just anybody, and you do not work according to the system of this world. You are subject to whatever the kingdom of God has to offer. That is what matters and counts as far as getting a spouse is concerned. You can be sure that God has covered that end for you. The Bible has rightly said that none shall lack her mate, so you cannot lack a mate. The one God has in mind for you will definitely come. It might not be immediate or at the time when you expect. Do not be worried or dismayed. God is working on that on your behalf. The truth is that He already has that part of your life settled. All you need to do is trust Him and follow His lead. Let Him guide you to that fellow that He has prepared or order your footsteps so you meet the man or woman that no doubt complement and bring completeness to your life. You should know that God instituted marriage. It was not an invention of man in any way, and that is the reason many fail woefully in this aspect, because they refuse to defer to the author of the institution. God saw the state of the man he had created in the Garden of Eden and came to the conclusion that it is not good for the man to be alone, and that was how the first woman came to be. From this, you should realize that God is not blind to your needs. He sees you and knows the desires of your heart. He knows that you want to have someone to commune with, someone that understands you than anyone else, someone that will complete you, someone to call your own. He sees all of these things and is working to ensure that all your needs are met and that you have a wonderful experience here on earth. However, he also knows when the time is right for you to go into that relationship. Many people are in a hurry to meet someone and just get married. They forget that the institution of marriage is not one that you rush into. And apart from that, getting it right in marriage can make a whole lot of difference in your life. If you get married to just anyone, you might end up not living up to your potentials or fulfilling God's plans and purpose for you. However, when you learn to depend on God and wait for the one that He has in mind for you, you will end up living a fulfilled life. This is when you can enjoy marital bliss and experience all the good things that comes with marriage. In other words, patience is very key. Do not be in haste, do not rush into just any relationship. The fact that every other person out there has a boyfriend or a girlfriend is not a criteria for you to start dating. Peer pressure, pressure from family, and from society can play a huge role here, but it is up to you to decide and take your stance. The Bible tells us not to be conformed to the world, but rather to be transformed by the renewing of our minds. And this is very important because it will help you to know what is that good, acceptable, and perfect will of God. In essence, you would not settle for just anyone, but be able to discern if that person is the one God has in mind for you. One thing is sure, as long as you remain in the will of God, obeying His commandments and living for Him, you will not miss the one God has for you. He will introduce that person to you when the time is right. It might be someone you have known for quite some time, maybe a childhood friend, a member of the fellowship, a colleague at your place of work, a neighbor, or it might be someone entirely new. Maybe someone that just moved into town or a new friend you met at the park. 
God works in different ways and it is not for you to try to imagine how you would meet that person or make plans to that end. God knows just how to arrange everything so that it fits into his plan for your life and that individual as well. While it is natural to imagine what that person would look like, if they would be tall or short, plump or lanky, fair or dark, reserved or active, and the like, you should learn to subject those thoughts under the will of God for your life. You might feel that you know what is good for your life, but God knows better. He is the one that formed you and knows who will fit perfectly into your life based on your peculiar characteristics and purpose. Do not sweat it. Where others are struggling to make their relationship work or find someone to be with, yours will come easily to you. And you do not have to search far. As long as you are in God, He Himself will bring the true one He has in mind for you. There is no need for unhealthy comparison. As much as you may not be comfortable with your single status, it is important to know that God's time is the best. He has the best prepared for you and at the right time, He will bring that person to your notice. It does not take God anything to connect you to the one He has for you. But sometimes, we are not ready for that person yet or we have not built the right kind of mindset that would be needed in the marriage. Or it could be that we are deficient in some areas of our lives that needs to be worked upon. So while you wait, these are things that you need to work on. Let your relationship with God be strong. Nurture it by prayer and the Word of God. Keep growing and keep developing yourself. If you find yourself getting constantly worried over meeting your spouse, pray about it. God will definitely give you direction. Moreover, having a good relationship with God ensures that you do not miss it when the time comes for you to meet the one that is meant for you. Most people wait until they are ready to be in a relationship before seeking to hear from God and they end up hearing the wrong voices. If you have been familiar with the voice of God from the very start, it would not be difficult for you to discern His voice when it comes to marriage as well. You will easily find that person and they will be the best for you. Look at Abraham's servant for example. He prayed to God about the assignment that had been committed into his hands to get a wife for his master's son. And just as he was rounding up his prayers, he got his answer. Do not be anxious or worried. The Bible says that he that finds a wife has found a good thing and obtained favor from the Lord. Meeting the perfect one for your life is a sign of God's favor and you can be sure that God will favor you even beyond your imaginations. He will make you to meet the right one that will bring joy, laughter, and give you peace. He will connect you to the one that will help you on the path of life and your journey to destiny. And the Bible tells us that God is not slack concerning His promises. Do not allow anyone to place any unnecessary pressure on you. Work according to the timeline that God has set in place for you. It will be to your advantage in the end. The one for you is coming. Ensure that you are prepared to meet them. Work on your character and everything that needs to be worked upon. As a lady, dress smart and look good. Do not forget to wear a smile always. It is the most beautiful, inexpensive accessory that you can afford. And ensure that you are approachable. The same goes for the men as well. However, beyond your outward appearance, work on the inner man of the heart, ensuring that it is in the right state. Also, do not become desperate, but patiently wait for God to bring it to pass. It would come with ease and save you a lot of heartaches and troubles many have to go through. The perfect match that God has in mind for you is somewhere out there. You will meet them soon. Just be patient and stay expectant.